Thank you, Kylie. And now, Brett James and his talk tonight are going to be curious about curiosity. Here. That's excellent. My name is Brett James, and I know that you're all very excited, and I'm all very proud of you. With the dedicated teams of research here, and it's not long now that we'll be launching the NASA Mars Curiosity rover. Thank you all for your esteemed work. Now, I've brought you all here because it's our job to put you all on the same page so you're all aware of the work that you're doing. Yes, excellent. So, now I'm aware of all your specialties, but I'm not sure which teams are around here. So can I have a show of hands from everyone on the left side, please? Bit of a quiet room in here. <laughs> now, according to my notes here, you are the launch team but my notes don't have the name of your team. Uh, does anyone have a name of your team that you would uh, care to share? Toby Dog. Toby Dog. <laughs> Thank you very much. Very interesting name. Now uh, that leaves uh, one other team here. The, can I have a show of hands from the right side, please? <laughs> That's much more enthusiastic. <laughs> now according to my notes, you are the landing team. Can I have a name? Team Christine, Awesome. Please. Team oh. Awesome. Oh, yeah. oh, I love it. So, we have two stages for this very expensive project. Team Toby Dog with the launch and the right side landing with Team Awesome. Now, Curiosity's intention is to coordinate between you, your two teams, the first one, to launch the rocket and get it towards Mars. Now the second part is that once we've travelled to Mars, Team Awesome have to handle a delicate job of being able to get it onto the actual surface of Mars itself. Now, to illustrate this first stage, we need some icons, I guess, to show up on the board of where we need to go. So uh, let's see what I've uh, got in my pockets here. I guess this, this could do. So we need to uh, land on up on here. Excellent. So Mars itself is actually t half the size of planet Earth, but is twice as big as the Moon. So I'm sure the Team Toby Dog will be able to get it in the right direction. But we need to travel from somewhere. So. Bounty bar, I think that will signify Earth for us. So the distance we need to travel to these two planets is 280, this is not the scale by the way. <laughs> Definitely not the scale. 280 million kilometers. But Team Toby Dog thought it would be more interesting to take the long way around. No, instead, they're going around in an orbit. So thanks to that, we've got to travel 580 million kilometres. I'm sure they've got the right idea with them. So excellent job for them there. Now once we get into this, the launch team have to launch a very large rocket. Now I'll be uh, describing this with uh, the research materials I'll be passing across here. Now you have the largest rocket known to mankind that we've built so far, known as the Atlas V. It will be a test later on, so I hope your teams are both paying attention. <laughs> the rocket, very correctly drawn here with these rockets. Yep, three, that's about right. These are planes. When this launches from planet Earth, it will weigh 531 tonnes. That is a lot of weight. That's, I'm not even going to begin to compare what that weighs. But once it's left Earth, instead of weighing 531 tonnes, everything has to be jettisoned on it 
to leave us with only five times everything else is gone or jettisoned back to the earth all spent fuel and parts so that little five time piece at the top is what has to get us to Mars the time for this to travel will take Team Toby Dog nine months now at this point the landing team will be taking over Team Awesome various team now a problem with Team Awesome is that talking up on Mars with our rover, it takes seven minutes to talk to it and then seven minutes for the signal to come back. This makes it a bit tricky because if we were to treat it like a GPS in our car, by the time we tell it to turn left at the intersection, the car's gone on ahead for a few <laughs> more kilometres and it's crashed into the oncoming traffic. So Team Awesome have worked around this situation. I'll be uh, passing on some more notes here for everyone to take on now. Thank you very much. For their budget, the Mars Curiosity rover mission cost $2.5 billion. $1.8 billion of this was spent by Team Awesome in terms of research and getting the Curiosity rover. And with this, they were able to automate the entire process without any human doing the communications for us. It is heavy, so to be able to land, with the uh, diagrams we are passing across, it will need to deploy a shield to slow it down from 21,000 kilometres down to 1,400 kilometres. After that point, it will then need to deploy a big parachute to slow it down from 1,400 to 290 miles uh, kilometres per hour. Lastly, a jet lift, which is pretty awesome, I must add, will give you three minutes of power on a planet 580 million kilometres away to bring it softly down to a landing. I think this is fantastic, but I also think we need rewards for our dedicated effort. So I'd like to thank everyone here, but I'd also like to ask the launch team, what was the name of the rocket that we had to launch? Atlas V. The Atlas V. Excellent. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How long is this trip going to take? Nine, Nine months. months. Oh, I think I'd have to handle this thing. <laughs> and the big one, of course. Oh, who wants this one? I'm sure Tim Lawson can get this. 580 million miles. <laughs> How long is the jet lift going to give you power for? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Three minutes. Excellent, by Sharon. That could have hurt someone. So now that we're aware of each team's role into doing the Mars Curiosity rover launch. We are now able to proceed with the launch and we'll go ahead with it shortly. Thank you very much.